Well, he's half of the award-winning duo with the longest-running headlining show in Vegas. Now Penn Jillette shares more magic through his book, Random, where decisions are made in the blink of a snake eye, and the TV show Penn and Teller Fool Us. Take a look. You will tell me stop, and the trio hearts appear. Okay. Stop. <laughs> My English is very bad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, tell me, tell me stop. But you know, you know what? You know what? what? I listen to you. But the trick is no, you tell me stop and the three appear. I see. The trick is the three appear on the box. <gasps> you need to see. <laughs> you need to see. <laughs> oh, man. And Penn is with us now. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, guys, to ask you first, did he fool you? Oh, yeah. That's Danny Viortez. <laughs> He's a Spanish magician, and he fools us anytime he chooses. Really? You know, all the best magicians in the world are in Spain. And when really? one of them comes over, we are terrified. We, oh all, we always lose. So I think I may be giving something away. When you watch the show, you'll be thrilled that Danny fools us. He's so good. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's talk about your book, Random. Sure. Set, up, set it up for us, because it's a, it's a fictional, it's a uh, it's novel. A, it's, a, it's, a fiction, yeah. it's a novel, kind of a crime novel, maybe a little bit funny, about a, a protagonist who chooses to uh, make all the decisions in his life by a roll of a dice. Uh, instead of doing the thing you want to do most, you make a whole list of the things you might also want to do. Okay. And then he uh, makes his decisions based that way and instantly with one roll of the dice and it leads him in uh, directions you might not go to if you made the optimum choice every time. Yeah, and people do this in yeah, real there life, are people, There right? are people that live uh, live their life randomly like that, and they end up going down some uh, some nutty some, some nutty, nutty alleys. Yeah, but yeah. so did you do that with the book too? Did you roll the but the dice uh, to kind of decide where it was going to gonna go? The, to keep the arithmetic right. Yeah. But um, but I was uh, I was pretty careful. I, I tend to be one of the reasons I'm so fascinated by this is that I tend to be a very careful person. I mean, Tell and I do things that appear to be extremely dangerous, yeah. and yet no one working with us or neither of us have ever been hurt. hurt. Yeah. So we're very, very careful. So I think that the book is kind of me saying, well, you know, if I were a little less your alter uptight, ego. Yeah. I'd be able to do something. <laughs> so else. safe to say you'd never do it in your own well, life. No, no, no. I'm, I'm very uptight. I do things right. <laughs> well, uh, Penn and Teller Fool Us is back for a season nine? Is it season well, it's nine? actually season 11, but they, they do two in one year. Okay, so gotcha. They, do it, I, they count differently. But we've done it 11 times. Oh I know that. Oh, my gosh. So. But you've seen so much in I mean, as you have admitted, people have fooled you. What does it take for someone to really impress you at this point? Well, you know, you uh, you get into magic because you like being fooled. Because when yes, you see, first I would get into magic, have that. Yeah, you, you you love it. And then as you uh, as you get better and better, you keep chasing that first high. Yeah. You get harder and harder to yeah. fool. And the producers go all over the world and find the greatest magicians. And uh, Although the show is set up as a, as a challenge, that's not really the feel of it. The ones we like the most are the ones that fool us. We yeah. love that feel, that feeling of having no idea how something happened that's impossible. Yeah. It's just this wonderful, wonderful feeling. And you know, every magic show on TV, they use all sorts of cheats, you know, where they put the yeah. camera, yeah. multiple takes. But because they're doing it for us and live, you're watching on TV exactly what we saw in the studio. Yeah. There's never any uh, pumping up of it. Well, you and, T and Teller are going to be, you have some tour dates coming up. What is the process like for the two of you now? Like, you've worked together for so long now. 47 years. 47 years. Yeah, yeah, we've been years. doing this longer than the audience has been alive. So you can read each other's minds at this well, point. Well, no, no, we still talk a lot. But, yeah. you know, um, uh, there's nothing I like to do more than come up with new tricks with Teller. Teller is the best magic mind alive yeah. and a uh, wonderful partner. And we get ideas that are impossible and then figure out how to do them. You know, as we've gotten older, it used to be when we were telling an idea to each other, we'd say, oh, this is what we can do pretty easily. Now, the only way to sell a trick to Teller is to go, I don't think this will work. I yeah. think it's impossible. And then Teller's <laughs> right. right on. Then yeah. he's determined. Then he's like, oh, I'm going <laughs> to oh, figure we'll, we'll this out. We'll do this. Oh, we'll yeah. do this. We will do this. All right. Well, Random is out now, and you can catch Penn and Teller. Fool us tonight at 8 p.m. on The CW.